All right, so the next thing we wanna go over with Mini 2, do's and don'ts, talking about some tips, whether or not to use feature tracking or marker tracking in the scanning settings. So this was the perfect size, the ideal size in the previous video. But what is this? Is this a feature rich object or is it something that you need marker dots on? First of all, I'm gonna scan it with marker tracking. Let's see what happens. So I have it set for marker tracking right now. Start. Need more markers, easy fix. So ultimately something that's feature rich and you don't have markers on it, it's not gonna be possible to scan with marker tracking. Now just switch that over in scanning settings to feature tracking. Let's see how it does. And I'll just do one revolution around. All right, and pause it. And there we have it. Astronaut is very feature rich. So we use feature mode under scan settings and you catch all the point clouds perfectly. And of course there's some holes up top and on the bottom because we did not scan those areas. So if you want to, just like the previous video, pause it and flip it on its side and you can catch those areas. All right, we just in the previous video got done scanning the astronaut. He was a feature rich object, perfect size. But now we wanna use feature tracking on an item that maybe doesn't have as many features on it and see what happens. So for example, this cup, smooth, it's a sphere, very different from the astronaut. Let's see the results using feature tracking. So we're already at the proper distance. Press start. It's making its way around and it starts spinning off into infinity. Okay, so what do we need to do? We need to switch it to marker tracking because it is not a feature rich object and we need to add marker dots. Let's add some. Okay, I'm just about done adding all the marker dots that we need on the cup. Again, because it is a spherical object, not rich in feature, so you need to add these marker dots. And something I wanna bring out, check this out. With the new Mini 2, these marker dots compared to the traditional ones that come with the other series, Morocco, Range, and Pop series, they're smaller. So great for objects that are a little bit smaller. You don't need to be putting on such large marker dots. You can use the smaller ones, really handy. Okay, so we have the marker dots on. We're gonna change the tracking mode to marker tracking and let's see how it does. Perfect. Just pause it. Nice shape. Again, just the point clouds. No spinning off into infinity that time. So again, lesson learned, make sure if it is not a feature rich object, make sure you have it on marker tracking and add your marker dots to your model. Okay, for our next experiment, we have this phone here again, smooth, not rich in features. Let's see what happens when we scan it just with feature tracking. Looking pretty ugly. <laughs> doesn't capture any of it at all. So here's a nice hack then. Ultimately, this would be a good model for marker mode, but if you want to use feature tracking, this is a nice trick of the trade. Take some tissue paper, maybe three of them, crinkle it up and put that underneath the cell phone or whatever item you have that is not rich with features. And this crinkled paper will ultimately make this more of a feature rich object. And then you should be able to capture the phone because of that. So as you can see, the tissue paper sticking up around it. We're keeping it on feature mode. Now let's try scanning it. All right, pretty good. You can even see the, the Apple mark on the phone. So again, it would be ultimately really nice if you did use marker mode or marker tracking and have the marker dots on it, but this is a nice trick of the trade. And the same reference, again, we used marker mode for this cup, but if we didn't use marker mode and use feature mode, you could add some more features by sticking two pens, two pencils in there, and that would help it be more of a feature rich object. Same concept as what we're doing here if you want to use feature mode. Also bringing out, because this would be better with 
marker mold, make it a little easier. We have the marker pad put on there. And if you feel like there's not enough marker dots, you can add some more on top of the phone. Also, marker topper here for the turntable for something like a screw that's really small and you can't add marker dots to it. It's a perfect candidate for being on the marker topper. 